on one of my older videos I stripped the pitch of a Technics 1210 and uh, cleaned the PCB and cleaned the contacts and showed you how to do that. Now in this one I want to do a quick video showing how to properly calibrate the pitch and the turntable using the frequency as per the instructions in the, uh, the service manual but I'm not doing it in the same order it says number one adjust the frequency number two adjust the pitch but what I found is doing it in this order causes problems because if you adjust the frequency on there and that center is wrong it doesn't always work so the best way that I found is to have the pitch disconnected adjust the VR 302 to be 2.7 K when it's on its click and then adjust the frequency inside the turntable so the first thing that I want to do is connect up this multimeter and I'm using this one because it has frequency on it so this is the Vici VC99 it's a cheap fluke copy it's not the best but it does have lots of good features and one of them being the frequency tester but to start off with we're going to use the resistance and I'm going to put my probe onto the brown and the red of the pitch board while the pitch board is disconnected so there we just have our crocodile clips and then I can put these onto my probes and then we can mess about with things without having to worry about holding on to things. So we can see that at the moment it's on its center click and I'm reading 2.8 as the resistance. So according to step two of the service manual, VR3R2 should be 2.7k plus or minus 0.1k so if we adjust VR3R2 to be 2.7k as close as we can get it I'm going to leave it at that 2.699 while we're on our center position so that pitch should now be correctly set up and now we need to adjust the frequency on the turntable so on the PCB we have test point 27 we have two points and one of them has the G and the G is the ground so again we're going to use our test clips so I'm going to connect the ground onto the G and then I'm going to connect the positive onto the other point and then we want to set our meter to frequency and we also need to have the pitch board plugged back in in its center click position and then when we switch the deck on this should be giving us a reading and then we can adjust VR301 until that says 262.08 or again as close as we can get it So at the moment we're reading 262.8. So we just need to adjust VR301 down in this case. I don't have a fine enough resolution to do the 0.0, 0 
So I'm just going to get it to 262.0. So that should now be calibrated perfectly with this pitch. So let's give it a test. So I'm going to use two cameras and I've made an extension wire so that I can work with this outside of the turntable and I've just marked the um, points on here so we've got the plus six on there so that we can look at the dots and I'm going to set up a second camera to try and show the dots moving while still having plenty of light So I've covered the strobe light and we can see the pitch and that the pitch is currently on pitch lock. So as we can see on the second camera, the dots are in the centre. And then if we move the pitch to plus six, we should see the dots gradually change until the lower dots are stationary. Oh, sorry, until the top dots are stationary. And let's gradually go back to the center. And if we move either side of the click, we have a nice gradual movement. It doesn't jump around. So that is how to calibrate the pitch using the resistance of VR3R2 and the frequency of the test point TP27 using this cheap multimeter that has the frequency reading.